Hello GTM, Sage here again, uh, just going to do a quick video of the Trovino Chases glitch, quite useful, just learned about it, I uh, just finally got it actually myself, and um, I think a video would be really helpful in actually figuring out how to do it, so let's, uh, let's get started. Open up your robot arena, of course. make this a little bigger all right so here's the chases we're gonna uh, make and then I'll do a few more examples but you can see how it's got just like this extremely thin wall it looks like it's been bot file edited but I did it all <clears throat> in the uh, chases tab so to do this we're gonna go to structure design uh, clear outline I'm gonna hit the rectangle button and then I'm going to hit clear outline again. And to do the one I just showed you, I went one, two, three, four, and then two points here. You have to, uh, for the first four points, you have to put them in a counterclockwise direction because that's the direction that they're going to return to their original positions once you move the length tab like that. See, once I hit the length tab on the rectangle, the first four points I placed moved back to the original points on the square and but now I can move them around and see now we have the chasey. Uh, however there's a few rules one you can't have lines directly overlapping like this they have to be at least one pixel apart like that or uh, that's a few more pixels um, because the game will crash if it does that if you have them directly overlapping and you can't have an angle that's more than two to one so this will work but if I go any farther than that well let's see if I go like that it won't even show up in here because it breaks the law so to get it to actually work it needs to be a little larger so for the chassis I made I just went like that and there you go play around. Um, maybe another example uh, would be to go something like two, three, four, and then one, two, three, like that, and then have these return, and then you can get an effect that something like this, where you can move these out, and then I don't know if this one actually will work. Oh, there it is. See? Bam. A completely useless chassis. But it's pretty cool. Maybe you can put a caster on there. Yep. Can't do much else, though. Um, but there's one thing about this glitch uh, that got me for the longest time, and I finally figured it out. So we're going to go into the test garage and see how it's working right now. If we go back to components and hit medium or high uh, graphic level, it's going to crash my game. So what you want to do to keep the high graphic level is um, set it to low. Here, I'll just show you. You want to set it to low, like I have, click OK, and then quit. And then when you go back in-game, <clears throat> you'll see that if we take a look at, say, uh, this one, the graphic level is still looking like it's that high. All the reflection maps and... Uh, just the lights are basically on. It looks, you know, high quality detail. However, really, it's still in the low graphic detail. So this one will still work. So just remember that you have to set the graphic de detail and then save it by quitting. And then uh, it should work in all your test garages and exhibition matches. Hope that helps. Uh, hope to see some creative chase. Chassis designs. Um, sage out.